Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back here to another video today, guys. I am back with another video today, guys. Today, before the day ended, I'm sorry for this video being so late. I apologize, but I just didn't have any time today. But I'm gonna make a quick video. And this one's about an expo deck that I recently found and played two matches with it. And I actually won. Ignore those other ones. I was just trolling around. I was like trying to find a new deck. But this expo deck, I actually did really good with it. Sorry, wrong replay. But I'm not going to pause the recording because last time when I did that to the, like, when I did that to the modern royale challenge i realized that the the that it the it was slow so i was like okay so i'm not gonna do that ever again so i placed mega minion in the back because i don't want to lose any elixir now of course i am a fellow level 10 i want to i'm hoping to get to level 11 by like the beginning of april or somewhere around that now i laid my expo down he let me locked onto it and then he plays down his Night Witch. I put down my Guards. We put down his Prince. I put down my Ice Golem. And I I was going to put the, I put down my Hunter. But I put it too forward that the Prince end up locking on the Hunter. Not what I wanted. But overall, we are about like have the same amount of Elixir. Now, I was going to lock. But then I was like, no, it's pointless. So, I didn't do it. Now, I'm Mega Minion that down. And... Sorry about the back noise. I was moving my pillow. Now, the Mega Minion, he tried hiding the Mega Minion with my skeleton, with his skeletons. I placed down an expo, he's and then he d lets it lock on again. Or probably he didn't want to lock on, but lock on the Prince. But the Prince was just too late. So now, I really, now I'm really low on Elixir, so I just didn't, I just couldn't do it. Now I logged it so I can get a few more hit points, but unfortunately it didn't. It, it brought it down to triple digits. But the Bandit's still going to get the dash, but it gets more, more, um damage to the tower it's about to bring it down to triple digits but i'm not scared at all because i know that he is going to waste his fireball on that on that mega minion i would have just personally just kite with the night kite with the night witch and then just like and then fireball the mega minion later like i would have done that but i placed down another expo and this he's still late on the expo now i tried to make the ice spirit retard re make the inferno tower relock on the ice golem but unfortunately i was too late and then he sent down a prince and the bandit just gets annihilated hunter goes down i was i placed my ice golem in front of the tower i should have played it like i should have tried to kite him but i didn't and there and there i said oops now I literally have two logs or a fireball until I go. But I'm going to save up my fireball because I don't want like him to do like a heavy push and I just wasted my fireball. So I, the Mega Minion does not get the the damage off. Like does not, is, she still dashes on the tower and the Prince doesn't get to dash on the tower. The Mega Minion cuts it out. Now this Expo deck, this is Expo Hunter by the way guys. This is Expo Hunter. The deck you saw at the beginning of the video, that's the, like the new version I did. Then I'm showing you two different like decks. I'm sure. Oh I'm showing you the original deck, and I'm gonna show you the the different the other deck. Now I'm, for this one, I'm not gonna do commentary for this one because I want you guys to like see it on your own.
so sorry. What, who are these people? I would like to, but not right now. Okay, you saw in Spain. I'm bored. So, yeah. I'm just waiting for her. I'm with um, the damn set. Um, where's yours? I was talking. Alright, guys, I'm back. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the replay. Now, if my sister said anything to you, it's a lot of, like, just nonsense, so, yeah. But, anyways, honestly, this this Three Musketeer deck was, like, so odd. Like, I didn't know, like, I didn't, like, really think that he was actually going to play this deck. Now, I don't get it how people actually get level 12 Goblin Gangs and all that stuff. But, yeah, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed these replays. Now, I am going to play an Expo deck. I'm going to play an Expo... Probably Expo Hunter or Expo Tornado Rocket. I don't know. I'm going to see. I'm going to be... But I'm going to try to find a deck. So, guys, enjoy the re enjoy the rest of the replay. All right, so that is the rest of the deck. So now let me hope the uh, the replay is still here. Oh no, I think it is gone. All right, I was hoping that I can keep the deck, the because I had like a tornado rocket kind of deck. All right, so I just used the original. The original lock, the expo deck. So let's do this. Right on my starting hand, I'm going to place skeletons. Alright, I'm going to place ice golem in a little. Ice golem split on the other lane. Okay, he plays this executioner. But don't worry, I know it counters him. I'm not going to counter him with archers. Don't worry, guys. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to. Defensive. Okay. Oh, defensive. Oh, but that still gets. It still gets a uh, hit off the tower. All right. Now I'm gonna play this. I, I'm gonna play a little silently because I need to tune into the game. So I'm sorry, guys. So if I'm a little quiet, just that's why. Okay, guys. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's see. Oh no. Then I have elixir. Ugh, this is so annoying. I hate Pekadex. I actually do. Oh no! I was trying to place my ice golem! What the heck? That was that was BS right there. Did you guys see me? I was actually tapping on the card. I just can't believe this. This is some absolute that this is absolutely bad. Now I'm gonna place a defensive log. It does not get okay. Hopefully it doesn't play the heck of oh He probably has a rocket. That's why he's not actually going for. No. Yes. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. I thought the Hecka was still alive for some reason. No. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That's a good log. 
But it, look, you see, this this guy has level 10 elite barbs. That's what I hate about people who play elite barbs. They just gem it, like, they literally upgraded to, like, an insane level. Like, one time I was versus a player who had level 13 elite barbs. It's like, damn, they, these guys are crazy. They spend our, their life on elite barbs. Watch, every day, they're like, okay, I'm going to quest for the Lee Barbs, yeah. Oh, no, but I was doing so good, but it's okay because I can get these trophies back easily. What the heck? I can get these, I can get these back, uh, and, like, it's easy to get my trophies back. But guys, I'm not going to end this video off. As always, I have announcements to make at the end of the video. So, guys, I've thought about this. i thought about, like, when am I going to make, like, a little live stream again? Now, about the live streams, and, like, if I'm going to make a live stream, I probably am going to do one. But it's just, like, it's probably going to be, like, later on. Now, guys, there is one thing I have to say, you guys, and this is it. So, we're about to hit, we're not even close to hitting, well, right now, for now, we're not going to hit right now 40 subs. Now, if I look at YouTube, uh, which I'm going to close all this, now... Um, no, actually, no, I'm not going to look at YouTube, but if I did look at YouTube, oh, wow, and I'm also about to start a tournament in, like, 23 minutes. How many players are in here? 16. But, um, like I was saying, start saying off topic. So, when we hit 50 subs, I probably, I'm probably going to make a live stream or a video probably a video because i can't really do live stream because then it wastes my data and i want it my data to get wasted so i'm probably gonna make save up to for a tournament maybe yeah maybe wait how many people can be in a tournament um 50 okay well that's the only but i'm gonna save up for like 30 gem like at least Try to get close, but of course, I don't think I'm going to get to 100. But if I do get a 100, I'm going to make a uh, a tournament. And then I'm probably going to have to wait until people join. And then I actually will get to start in the tournament. This will probably be a long video. But honestly, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of... Um, of just like right now since i'm in a tournament like in like 22 minutes i'm gonna make a video and we're gonna and i'm gonna start pushing and see like how far we can get to the top now as i'm talking let's do some 2v2 action because i don't know why i've been flipping around the screens now also on the updates on the videos i'm gonna frequently uh record videos and post on my channel i'm trying to keep this channel like not dying like i'm gonna try to going to try to keep this channel alive and keep it all active because i don't want a dead channel today guys i don't want i don't want it to die you think i want our channel to die i do not want our channel to die double executioner hashtag double executioner in the chat <laughs> but anyways this this channel has grown a lot i've got to say I thought our channel wasn't going to grow at all, but it has grown a little, and I'm so happy about that. Truly am, guys. But also, we have we have 43 subscribers, I think. Do we have 43 subscribers? Yeah, we do. We do. Now, that is good for having 30, 43 subscribers. I mean... We hit 40 like a month ago, but it's okay. It doesn't matter how long it went a month ago. But hey, a month went by fast, and we have three more plus subscribers. Now, 
I'm gonna do more Star Wars. Don't worry. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a Star Wars video. I'm probably gonna do try to do two videos in one day. Like I'm gonna try to do two Star Wars videos. I don't know why I waste. Oh, actually, that zap didn't end up being as bad as that after all. Now this is some value out of the executioner. Now, also. My team, I'm gonna try to trophy push. Like, a, I'm gonna try to do a video of trophy pushing over, like, to get to Arena 11. Cause I know Arena 11, we're gonna have some players that are gonna have max cards. Cause I've seen, like, I played on someone's account. They were, like, in, they were in, um, they were actually in, they were actually in Arena 11, and that was a waste of a tornado. And these guys, they literally had max cards, and I was like, holy Jesus, I am not ready for Arena 11. So I was like, oh no, so how am I going to do this? So I, what, my plan was going to get to get every legendary in the game that exists for now, but three more legend, and not three more, uh, two more legendaries got added. So I was like, oh no, this is means my legendary luck is... I think it gets increased every time a new legendary comes out. Comes out. Oh no. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. I'll take advantage of that plant though. I will. If there's ever someone who actually make a plant like that, I would have just put like a goblin gang and all that crap. They did not. So I'm gonna start a golem push. Golem is so oh. <gasps> wow. Wow. I actually thought it was going to be game over. Alright. So like I was saying. Um. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um. The goblin. The goblin gang is going to. Uh. The. Like so I was going to be like. Okay. So we're going to. I'm going to try to get every legendary in the game. But guys. I will do a face reveal. A uh, hundred subs. By the way guys. Face reveal. But probably some people, like, they're, like, friends of mine. Like, so only, like, probably, like, three or four subscribers know me in real life. But it doesn't matter. Now, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, I will be doing a video later on. Sorry for this video being so late. I apologize. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, um, heads up. I want you to. I want to show you this replay where my le the my leader, my teammate, he they actually tied. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. And if you did, peace out. See you later, alligators, and enjoy this replay. Ha <laughs> ha